once the budget is done in the wrong way, then it affects also the, uh, the, 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 the projections by the private sector. But I can see, and you know that, we had sleepless nights in our, in our technical committee when we realized the whole of 200 billion, which actually cannot be justified. The whole thing is that it is history that is going to teach us the lesson. We have government led by His Excellency President William Ruto, which is actually saying, look, we have to follow the law. We have to follow the guidelines that we create. And we have to make sure that at the end of the period, we are evaluated on the basis of that. And I think uh, those are the issues that I will follow with the strictness. Uh, Junet, uh, and Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. We shall end here. Mukami, you have missed the boat today. You'll uh, have the first bite in the next, unfortunately. But you had some interventions. Uh, Professor, I give you three minutes to tell us your final wish to this committee and expectation. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I would have said that uh, um, also I work with rational expectations. So my first wish was that I do hope that uh, I've made some commitments and even some content that allows you to actually consider my uh, nomination positively. But more importantly, we run from the past. And we run from the past, that is adaptive running. We run from the past so that it guides us in the, in the future. When you have been beaten in the past, you have to make sure that you correct the situation in the future. I do believe correctively, together with the, uh, the national treasury and, uh, and economic planning, and the parliamentary, because essentially we'll be consulting now and then, we can make a difference in terms of where we are going and of course, make sure that we rectify or leave down that bad history. And I do believe that we are going to make a difference. So my prayer is that once I'm nominated, once I'm ratified as a, or um, approved by this committee, I'll make sure that I use all avenues, all my strength, and uh, I've been there uh, in terms of uh, the, all my intellectual might, and all consultations necessary so that we all come up with the appropriate rules, appropriate solutions, and appropriate outcomes. I do believe in consultation. I don't think there is any one person who has the monopoly of knowledge. What we do have is consultation that improves the whole spectra of the issues that we want to cover, our development agenda, and then that will make a difference. Thank you very much for giving me a chance. Thank you very much for listening to me. And thank you very much for, uh, I hope I did answer all your questions and where I failed, I'm sure we'll meet in uh, some other avenues and I will make sure that I clarify some of the issues that I, I had. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you very much. Professor, uh, as we release you, you'll uh, lie us with our secretariat, the two, three.